So the first thing you want to do is to take the module and unsolder the cables that are used to connect the battery over here, just to save space. And then make sure that there is a solder bridge in between those two pads uh, where it says TX5 volts. So when, when you open the transmitter, you can see that these cables are used to connect the PS2 port to the main board. And it's this black wire over here between the orange and yellow one, which is connected directly to the 5 volt pin on the PS2 port. So what some people do is that they just take the black wire, cut it, and solder it directly to the positive terminal of the batteries. But if we do that, then the module will be powered always, unless you plug it out. And uh, to prevent that, we can solder the black wire to this pin right here instead. And that is the switch, the main switch of the, of the transmitter. So only when the transmitter is on, then this pin is connected to the batteries, otherwise it's disconnected. So I added an extra wire and used the shrink wrap just to protect the connection. So right now we can use the switch to turn on and off the module together with the transmitter. We can see the LEDs on and off.